of harder. So. Well, I think it does. If you move up the ranks, that means the, the tasks in front of you are harder. Um, that's just a grind. Um, but I was willing to come back and do that for a period of time that the Prime Minister wanted me to come back. Uh, um, it has been tough. It's, this is not tiddlywinks. Um, but you make sure that you do as best as you can, and I think I've done that. Uh, and I think I'll leave it at a time when most things are as tidy as they can be. And I'm looking forward to seeing the success of the people who are taking over the portfolio. <laughs> that old question. Uh, look, um, there's plenty that I'm proud of. Uh, it's, it, it might seem relatively mundane, but I think the ability to bring in uh, market studies has meant we've seen some kind of uh, daylight on some of the sectors that have uh, needed some daylight for um, some time. I'm really proud that um, I was a minister during the COVID response. I want to acknowledge um, the Prime Minister's leadership there. I think we've had a world-class response to a global pandemic and I think a lot of that came down to the Prime Minister's uh, leadership there. So um, I don't wish that kind of experience upon any other government, um, but it was um, an amazing experience as a Minister of the Crown to be able to make sure you're supporting uh, businesses both big and small. You've had a while now to think about your, your last um, speech in the House. Give us any hints about what you might... I don't want everyone's surprise. <laughs> There'll be no score sitting. It's been an absolute pleasure. Look, I think the privilege of sitting around the cabinet table was something that I never imagined I'd ever do when I walked into this place um, with a microphone and a camera. Um, but it's actually some of the things away from this place that have given me um, the most reward. Um, there are some places uh, in Porirua now uh, that were just uh, empty plots of grass for years when I was an opposition member, and now we've got people living in them. Um, so, you know, that doesn't necessarily gain much uh, attention here, but I'm really proud of the things that you can do that make like, people's lives um, different uh, and better. So those are the kinds of things I'm quite keen to do remember. You, do you stand by the progress you made on hate speech reform? Yeah, absolutely. As, as I said, anything that uh, I've done, we stand by. Um, it's a complex and difficult area. Uh, and as I said a couple of weeks ago when I was last asked the question about that, uh, we want to make sure that we protect the people we want to protect and not make it any worse. I think we've got to find the delicate balance to make sure we can progress those reforms but not stoke the kind of hate uh, that we're all worried about. How do you feel about the future of your party and the new faces taking on new roles? Look, I'm excited for them. Uh, a lot of them are mates uh, and uh, some of them will be uh, now ministers and have now uh, more responsibility. I'll work with them over the next few days to make sure that they're good to go and I'm sure they will be. Um, I'm labour through and through. Um, so uh, I'll be watching from the sidelines, supporting everyone here uh, in the team and in the caucus uh, for the next election. I'm confident in that. Okay, thanks. Cheers, thanks.